Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Greg Tech New Horizons. So we are back and uh, yeah, we're here at a spawn. Look at this cool spawn here we have here. Electrobot made this really good job. Uh, so basically we're evacuating this place here and uh, we're heading out of here. Our server is already up and running, which is pretty cool here. Uh, so uh, basically we're leaving here. We're going to go down into this bunker and then basically we're teleporting out of here. Um, and uh, look at that right away you get the server rules here so uh, if you if you want to read the rules you should read them um, these might get updated from time to time but we also have in the quest book and we'll put them on the the site and things like that and some basic uh, information of what we changed here so if you want to pause it and read it go ahead very little changes to be fair um, we didn't want to mess around with it we want to keep it more like the stock pack so you can either go uh, northwest southwest you can go northeast southeast so let's go northeast here so you can even say, you know, it's going to take you to a plus four, a negative uh, four K. Okay. So you can go there and there we have it. Awesome. And uh, there we are. So we can, we can leave out of here and uh, we can start, you know, on our adventure. So look at this already coming out of here. We're seeing some nice, lovely cows over here. Mm. Hey cow. No, no, no. I want your, your your meat. That's not working so well. Okay, so let's get out of here. I don't want to hang around spawn too much. So uh, basically, uh, it's a very quest-driven uh, mod pack. So um, you can open it up with your tilde key, the key with the one, though you're going to have to go in your options and control uh, clear out your, a lot of your key binds. I already did that, so I have like almost no key binds. Um, that's on our server if you want to play on that server. If you're playing single player or most other servers, you'll have a book that spawns with you in the inventory. The, the big big reason we remove that from ours is mostly for the fact that uh, what happens is a brand new player comes onto the server and they die maybe they're mucking around whatever and then there's graves all over the place because they got their their quest book on us on them so we just actually removed the spawning of the quest book to start with and that way that that issue is not a problem basically so it's a good idea let's uh yeah let's follow this little uh, river i guess here We'll just follow this. So basically, we're going to find some uh, place to live. I like to find something, you know, more maybe uh, damp, moist, tropical-ish. Um, good place for bees and stuff. So at the top left there, you can see the temperature. You can see the humidity. I like to hit around 100% humidity. Uh, big reason for that is mostly for railcraft at first because you get the uh, railcraft um, tank and it'll provide you a bit more um, water, basically, for your boilers, things like that. And another reason for... Oh, looks like we found another player. Eh, whatever. We're going this way anyways. And another reason for this is basically uh, for us to... Oh, look at this. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. And... Uh, uh, another reason is for bees and crops later on. So uh, if you play forestry bees or um, IC2 crops, they tend to like more damp and humidity stuff. Now, the bees are up and down. I mean, there's hell bees, cold bees, everything else. But one of the better bees early game, at least, I find, is tropical bees. Later on, it doesn't matter that much. You can also change your biomes and things like that uh, as time goes on. So you can see there's a, a little village over here, but uh, that's fine. Um, yeah, so we're going to go over here. Look at all the animals here. So let's check our quest book here anyway. So we got the first night. So we recommend that you don't leave a safe spawn of the 4K 4K uh, bunker or any other uh, early morning, blah, blah, blah. Um, so it just gives you the basic here. Welcome to the Stone Legion server, etc., etc. So the first quest here is basically collect some dirt. Let's open our inventory here too. So we're just going to go ahead and collect some of this dirt around here. Now, I saw a village there, but I thought, you know what? I'll leave it to that guy to grab the village because uh, I, I don't really care too much about the villages. And um, Yeah, everyone seems to have gone to the same location. So we're kind of all, you know, running there. And look at that. We're going to have our first night uh, as an issue. So this this dirt's going to help us stay safe, basically, in there. So uh, well, whoo, let's zoom out there. There we go. Um, so you have different information and whatnot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of try to play it safe. Um, I don't think bees actually sting you in this version, right? So I'm going to be a bit silly here. And I'm going to use this as part of my protection today. I think that would be actually kind of cool. So what we're going to do here... Oh, 
I need another, uh, oh yeah, well, yeah, I still should get another one. There you go. Let's do this here quickly. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I love that. I like that. It's how our protection. I gotta take a picture of that. Uh, anyways, let's check that quest book. So, uh, so basically, uh, we go server rules here. So uh, we have the server rules in here as well. Please keep in mind these can be updated over time. So if you want to refresh yourself, taking a break, things like that, check them. I mean, the server rules are usually the same. Just don't be a jerk. Don't like the server. How simple is that, right? So if we accept that, we get ourselves some brain jerky. How cool is that? Um, numbers in the corner. So this tells you about the in-game information, information at the top left corner. Now, we have a slightly modified client that you can use um, if you like. Uh, so if you join our server, the information will either be on our StoneLegion.com website or on Discord or even the slash help, whatever. But uh, I don't like their uh, in-game information. Very, very bloated, basically, and I've just streamlined it to be very, very small. Um, actually, we already had one like this before, and then all we did was just use the temperature and humidity, as that wasn't something we had before, and I thought that would be kind of cool. So, uh, And I've actually rescaled it down a bit, too. I think it's uh, 0.7 scale at the top, so hopefully it's big enough to see, but it's also meant to not be distracting, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, so we can say, yeah, we know about that. You can do, I, uh, in-game info disable or in-game, in, uh, enable. So if you go like this and type in disable, um, I guess you have to type it out. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, cause I think it's client, so it probably doesn't do autocomplete, but there you go. Um, and you can have a inf uh, config window as well, and you can actually modify it yourself, whatnot. Uh, when you're over a chunk that you can mine, it will also show just like the official, uh, one, uh, the, the chunk information. In fact, uh, one of our players was the one who created, uh, that I believe. I don't know if they used that after or if they figured it out itself, but one of our players actually did the math and uh, created an addition to the in-game information. We added that ages ago. That way players don't have to sit there count and whatnot. We thought that was kind of a fair way, especially when originally when we played GTNH, they had a bug where basically it wouldn't check the height of the, the, the world and basically sometimes you'd dig like four or five, you know, uh, three chunks out kind of thing and there would be no ore like it was a very very hard time at one point but uh, basically that's not much of an issue now so um, but really cool uh, let's check out here so basic tips uh, so we have some basic tips here uh, we'll, we'll add and modify these as time goes on too. maybe make it really big and long but uh, eating uh, base harvest craft crops one's gotten from the gardens uh, then look at the sky while eating uh, to actually eat it. So there's a bug with them uh, using thermos, cauldron, uh, crucible, etc. Uh, basically, Pam's crops don't interact cor correctly. That's going to get fixed probably, I'm going to say hopefully in a couple months, uh, maybe less. Uh, but I've reported it to one person who's actually doing a mix to fix a lot of these bugs. But I'm not promising you. Uh, so Rogue Dungeons, Loot Games, AU2 Meteors, and Natura Redwood Trees are disabled to keep the surface looking nicer for uh, long longevity. I think it should be longevity, whatever, of the server. Um, you can purchase AE2 Skystone, because we have it disabled here, via the coin shop later on, which is cool. Most commands uh, and land claim information is found via the help command. There's no bed voting and on the server. Just protect your land and build a wall. Don't bug players to sleep. The only chunk loaders allowed are Railcraft. It's highly recommended you stick to the personal ones. Basically, the reason we have that one there is if you're, and I'm not going to be this much of a jerk, but I could be pretty jerkish. If your base is crashing the server over and over in a loop and we're all getting screwed by it, um, you know, we might say, you know what? we're having problems. We're going to have to nuke your, your, your chunks. I have never done that, but you get the point. You, you, you'd be be you're on, you'd be on my jerk list basically if the server restarted every time and it kept crashing because of a bug and bugs crop up all the time and that's why we like the personal anchors at least you know you come on you load it it's fine if there's a crash issue with your thing you just don't log in we'll probably be fine and we can continue playing till we can fix the issue um but anyways uh, so yeah, that's that's done there and then uh, help build a railroad th system So uh, Electro is going to be heading up on a project eventually and I'll help out him out as well uh, but uh, we're gonna do a railroad uh, system all through the uh, the the, the GTNH uh, server here 
and uh, the idea is we'll have bridges and pathways and try to like you know have like a little community you know little things going on and kind of bring back the old godcraft slash stone legion days where we used to be able to check out other people's builds and their projects and just kind of have like that really you know community feel maybe even bring a, a shop system into the, the the game eventually so um and this is more about loading chunks here so i won't go into that we've already been into that so uh we'll say thank you and claim and then too many keys. So this is about NEI. Um, I personally have disabled most of these. I think I include an options file with my version of the client. So um, once you've played with those settings, you probably don't want to use it again. But um, um, yeah, I've, I've basically removed most of the key con uh, conflicts just because I didn't want to deal with it. Uh, so you, now you just add the keys you want as time goes on. Uh, this book has built-in reading light. Oh, look at that. Well, we have this nice... Uh, Nice hive helping us too, right? So, okay, so we'll uh, be back here in a minute because we're waiting till uh, night finish here. And then uh, we'll come back here and uh, continue on. It is daytime. Go, 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 go. We'll clean this up because we're trying to have a beautiful world. Let's not get owned here accidentally though. Okay. So when looking on the map here, I did, ooh, Malaberries. I like these guys. Let's actually collect these. That's something I probably should grab, too, is some of the Pam uh, crops when I'm around. So these guys here, you do uh, right-click and pop. So here's these little hobgoblins here. Yeah, I see a village here. I'm thinking I might check it out just for the fact that I can get, uh, I can get some extra stuff here. Just some food and whatnot. Maybe grab one or two of their torches just to make it a little more convenient for the next night. Because that way you can, you know, do some digging or whatever if you need to, right? So... And here we are. Look at this. This is a snow one. I really love the look of the snow ones every time I see them. Let's go up here. Oh, it has a blacksmith. Oh, no, that's not blacksmith. It's the... Oh, it's these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll leave them alone. <laughs> Damn. Anyways. That's me just trolling there. I'm not going to actually nuke them, but <laughs> there's some beehives there. <laughs> they're gonna get annoyed at me because uh, the reason i'm annoyed is some of those players are like people who tend to go through the content so fast that by the time um i even get to steam age they'll probably be in like lv or envy i'm not kidding you <laughs> so i'm just like hey if you go here i'm nuking your base But, uh, yeah, it was a cool base. Nothing. Oh, look, there's an iron golem there. Uh, so here's some tips here. Let me tell you some tips. Uh, so up here, um, if you were to climb in there, there's some gold in there. Um, there's obviously books from the bookshelves here. If you were to kill this guy, you get some free early game iron. Um, obviously, you saw the, um, the bee stuff there. So you can grab that if you want some early game bees. Uh, here's some carrots. I believe we have a quest for carrots. So I'm going to actually probably grab this just for the fact that I'll want it later on. Now, I don't know how these grow because of its ice. Do they still grow or will they will they derp up? I don't actually know that for sure. There you go. And let's grab you guys here.
yeah, so it's a cool village, but nothing exciting. But I don't really need anything exciting either, because when you go and raid a village, it's like, oh, look at all this crazy stuff I got. You know, the basic foods, that's where it's at. It's like, thank you. And I, I try not to even break them, to be fair. Um, if there wasn't anything there, a lot of times I would just AFK overnight and uh just you know the next day pick out what's growing out just that way somebody else comes by and they can uh, enjoy the crops as well look at that isn't that cool um yeah people some people have high ping that q3 q33 guy there he actually i think he was did he say he was from russia i'm not sure if that's the one that was from russia but he plays apparently just fine though um yeah, so even with having 500 ping constantly, um, he doesn't have too many issues, which that's actually incredible. I don't know how uh, one can play like that, but apparently it works out for him. So, yeah, this is a bad path. I shouldn't have taken this. I was hoping... <laughs> uh, I should have taken another detour here, obviously. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and uh, keep going here. Let's just do a little cut here and move. Oh, there's another village here. We can check it out, I guess. It's a little bit more entertaining than just walking for hours one way, right? Oh, it's one of those castle ones. I love that. So one of the cool things is we did the generation a bit better on this pack. Uh, what we did this time around is, uh, did it by hand. Basically we used Archon and we teleported the character around instead of using, uh, the chunk pre-generator. Uh, mostly the, the reason for this was because the chunk pre-generator does a lot of hacky and weird things. And in many cases was putting our world upside down, not kidding you. Um, we would have areas like even region size which would have no trees shrubs nothing on it and it would just it would strip the heck of it uh heck out of it and uh then togi there who just got himself a achievement ended up finding out that unfortunately it was causing some other unknown issues like ores weren't spawning underground correctly and then electro had a, a bug which was freezing up the server every time he was doing his cotton field we believe it might have been related to the generation and even during that we had another guy who uh, ended up crashing the server uh, because there was a GT ore and a chest trying to fight for the same tile entity and it just went crazy bonkers. So we're guessing it was related to the world gen just kind of going inside out and upside down. So uh, like I said, we did this Archon style one. Uh, it worked pretty good actually, but um, at the same time, it uh, also, oh look at the magnifying glass, some cool stuff here, some TNT cards. I'll leave it here. I like I like checking these out and be like, if I need them, I'll come back. But more likely, somebody will come by and grab all of them. Oh, there's even a... Yeah, these ones are harder to tell because they they blend in here. So we got some nickel and silver. Oh, I'll grab that. Why not? But uh, Oh, you even have Apothecary in here. This is kind of cute. Ah! This is funny. It doesn't let me through here because of the way this is going, I guess. Yeah, weird. Yeah, so here there's a chest here you can break, and uh, I might as grab the free chest, to be fair. I could have grabbed the other one for a chest, but yeah, you'll just get some basic stuff. Oh, well, there's some weird witch stuff, but you know what? I'm going to grab this torch, too. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to take all their torches. I just want a single torch, to be fair, so... We'll grab enough for this for you can turn this into seed. That's why I'm collecting some of these so I can make it into a farm later on and create some bread and stuff like that. But uh, and here's a tinker smeltery if you want one. Though you're gonna have to build them anyway, so I'm just gonna let you know now that you're gonna have to build all the whole process. So raiding the the tinker smelteries like this really does not give you much of an advantage. Um, but uh, yeah, that's up to you if you want to or not. Okay, let's keep going here. Uh, so we're going to have to do another pause here. Isn't that cool? I love the castle stuff here. I don't want to go near a village at night. So even though night's coming, I'm going to try to run away. Just for the fact uh, that I don't want to screw over um, such a great biome. Why is it sad then? Oh, he doesn't want to be too close to the bunker. 
Yeah, that's actually not a bad uh, point there. If you if you find an amazing thing two feet away um, from the bunker, but it ends up, you know, you like you have that crash bug issue and people load the chunks when they go near it, you know, that could be kind of dangerous too, right? But yeah, we're going to go this way, I guess, over here. I think this is where we were walking. Yeah, I don't know how long this is going to go, so... Friggin' Togi. <laughs> I love this biome. It's just non-stop. There's a fork. We have a, an important decision in the future, apparently. The fork. I'll probably go... I'll probably keep going a bit north. Yeah, I'll probably go northwest a bit more. Because I know my friend Togi is going northwest. And I think my friend Electro and stuff is going northwest. So, um... It's like only if that jerk of an admin told me not to go that way. There you go. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue on um, after this day and night cycle here, and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. So um, yeah, we'll stay at this fork, I guess. Let's. Uh, we have a torch now. Oh, the only downside is. Oh no, it'll work. It might melt us. I don't actually know how the melting stuff works. Maybe instead I'll bring it up higher. Oh, wait, you're going to run out of materials. Oh, crap. There you go. Yeah, so we're going to end up in water. So I think I'm just going to enjoy this. Because if I place the torch down, it's going to melt the, the glass. and Or the not the glass, the ice. And then we're going to be sorry. So we'll come back here once daytime hits. And we'll keep going. Okay, my friends, we're back. I forgot we have the dynamic lights with Optifine on here. Oh, that's going to be lit up too. But if we... Well, it's kind of daytime now, so it's not going to make a big difference. Oh, what is, what is this pain? There you go. There you go. I wanted to show you that in action. So I heard a guy out here. Let's let's make sure we don't get owned. Oh, it's a creeper. Oh, crap. That's a creeper too. I want him to blow up, but there you go. Oh, crap. What was that? Was that an invisible one? Or is that is does he do like a time explosion like that? I don't think I spelled that right. Oh, look at the squid. Oh, he died. Poor squid. Okay, we're feeling a little peckish. We probably should eat soon, but I'm just being a little bit more, you know, self-conscious on the food I eat. <laughs> we'll just keep running a bit for, for now or walking sorry not running walking um so actually one of the cool things about this uh pack is they have this uh food system in here and so when you eat food for the first time um you build up uh you can actually type in food list size and uh, since we haven't eaten a single thing um every 50 half shanks you eat so basically 25 full shanks of brand new food so food you've never eaten before um, you get an extra heart. So we get that orangey yellowish looking heart after we eat uh, 50 new shanks of food, which is pretty darn cool if you ask me. So, so there was at least 15 zombies. Look at all these cows here. Oh, wow. I guess the cool thing is if I can find a place to live near a snow biome, you, you get access to usually quite a bit of cows. I don't know. I find like the big open plains like this tends to have more cows, but maybe it's just because it's easier to see them or maybe, maybe there is some truth to that. I don't know, but uh, pretty cool here. I think we're going to do a cut here in a second because this, this could take us an hour to get out of here. I don't know how big this lake is. So let's come back here in a minute when we uh, find something.
It looks like the train's starting to do a bit of a break up here, so we might have actually finally found something other than this. Now, more than likely, it's going to end up being... Actually, I don't know how good the balancing is here of the terrain. Usually, it's supposed to be cold and then move, so when there's a lot of snow biomes around, then that is jungle tree right there. Okay, you know what? I think we hit the jackpot. Oh my goodness. Oh, a flighting. Oh, I don't want to live under that thing. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we'll keep looking. Thank you, though, for the offer. Uh, you don't want to live under one of those. Because they'll drop slimes, which, hey, that might be okay from time to time. But with the boss mobs or a potential king one f falling down, uh, that could get pretty messy, pretty deadly fast, so... Um, but we'll check what's over here. So we got mud. There's actually a quest to make mud armor, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hoard all that stuff anyways. I like to get some more gardens. I've seen very little gardens so far, but uh, more potential now that we're here. And this, yeah, it looks like it's a mix of swamp and and jungle. So that's not really the place one would probably want to live. Yeah, it kind of drops you into the the dirt a wee bit here. But it's pretty cool, honestly. So, what are, what are we looking here, anyways? So, where are we? We're up here. So, we got this spot here. We're not drowning. No, we're above. So, yeah, we got this. This is pretty cool. So, yeah. I, I think that's that could be pretty decent, to be fair. Yeah. We'll see what we can come up with. Uh, it looks really gross there. So, let's go maybe a bit more left here, then. Honestly, it doesn't really matter, to be fair. I'll probably change our location multiple times anyways, you know. I kind of, like, I'm kind of looking, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Yet yeah, now we just don't even go over here. We, we've just, we, we've given up. <laughs> it's one of those things in a Guardian, guys, there. You just don't even attempt it now. We're, we're done. We're going to move on and forget about this. I, I've chosen to go through the nasty side instead. So there looks like there's marsh over here. So the, the marsh here has a 20... Oh, I didn't... A dead swamp. Okay. So it has a 90% humidity. That's not too bad. I would like to... I'm just like thinking min-max, right? If if this... If that's a tropical... Oh, yeah. I can see the beehive there. So that, I'm guessing, is going to be 100% then. Uh, and in that case, there's a better. So let's see what this says right here. Are we in that biome right now? No, it's still... Oh, this is river wet. Okay. Ooh, it looks like it might even be a bit on the both sides here. Okay, this is not so bad. At least we have lots of mud. Oh, look at we got some clay around here. We're gonna need some gravel. Oh, I see some gravel over here too. So that's gonna be needed for a quest actually. So maybe I should grab some of that. There's some watermelon here too. That's probably some good uh, early game food. Actually, that's one reason why jungles would be good too. I completely forgot that you got your cocoa uh, beans and stuff. I don't know if there's much of a use early game for those, but. Because uh, you have to remember recipes are changed, right, with Greg Tech quite a bit here. Um, or GTNH. Um, ooh, those are IC2 rubber trees. Oh, I'm liking this, but I don't like the hilly here. I kind of want it less hilly, but did I see something bad here? No, I'm just crazy. I thought I literally saw, like, a green creeper. <laughs> we needed a bunch of this for another quest, so I'm just thinking I might as well grab these now. How many did we need for that, my friends? Oh, we got enough. Okay, and some wood. So this wood here is probably not the kind you need. Um, and I would rather use regular oak wood. Okay, I'm be I'll be happy with a jungle one, but I don't want to. Oh crap! Quicksand. Let's now let's not ruin our lives by jumping into that accidentally. This would be okay because. I can probably get most of this down, and if not, I can always come down and fix it, but we're we're really in a, a bad location, to be fair, so. There you go. Oh, yeah, look at all the different wood here. So what we'll do here is we'll grab what we can here. And I think we'll probably make this area kind of our home, I think. I would just, I, uh, well... 
even temporarily, to be honest. Um, this is probably not the best temporary ba uh, place to be, to be fair, because there's like poisonous spiders, I think, that can grow in these jungles. And um, But it was more like, hey, later on, I'd like a jungle. I didn't think I'd find one this soon, but at the same time, it's not the kind I like, because I like something a little smoother and flatter, right? But uh, jungles also make a really bad starter biome for the fact that cutting down trees are a little harder. Though there are ways around that, so we'll, we'll play around with that. I think we need some tools and things like that, so it won't be right away. But there are some options anyways. This small tree does make it a little easier though on us. But I kind of always have a personal rule. I like to keep things a little cleaner. It's harder when you're, you know, digging for sand and clay and things like that. But I usually do that once I find, like, a, an outpost or a base I plan to stay at. And then when I'm happy with that, what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll even if I dig and make a bit of a mess, that's kind of my territory. And then I usually go back and, uh, I shouldn't say usually, I, I'm pretty sure I always go back eventually and clean it up as well. Because uh, I just, I like to have a pretty world, you know. That was one of the reasons why we regenerated this all by hand in a sense doing the Archon teleportation was because we wanted a nice pretty world you know we disabled some of these ugly mods that you know scarred the terrain of the world just so we can have a nicer looking you know world for the players well here's a, another type of uh garden here from Pam's so later on you need eight of each for this healing one but you need all this other stuff like tofu and whatnot oh 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 I think we found something kind of flatter I'm liking this I'll leave you guys alone, but I'm liking this. I think this might do in this area. So as long as there's not like a horrible totem nearby or a guardian dude or something like this, I think we might have found a somewhat nice place around here. Yeah, still a bit hilly, but I love it. It's beautiful. I like the jungle look to it. So I think we did it, my friends. I think we found something okay. So what we're going to do this time around is we're just going to dig down here. Might as well. We got this torch too, right? So We're just going to make a temporary base underground, basically. Okay. So let's go ahead and put you guys... Oh gosh, let's get that torch down here. So let's put them up here. There you go. Actually, let's keep that so I know... Oh, actually, I know which way because it's the river there, so... We're going to go ahead and clean this up a bit. So we got uh, the, the, the most basic stuff here. Uh, to get us started and we can work on that quest a wee bit more. Now, I hope you got detected. You did. Okay, so it wants to consume a bit of the wood. That's fine. We also get um, a torch. So that's that's the good news. And, uh, yeah, there you go. It talks about the land claim when you place that down. Um, so if you type in slash help. There's a link about how to use the uh, the claim. Basically, the best way... Well, you can do slash claim, I believe. And it's a radius of blocks. Um, but you can also use a wooden shovel to do that. So, Oh, crap. There could be a problem using that. I'm going to get rid of that one, but then I'm going to do that. So what might happen is um, some mobs might sink too fast. I've seen spiders actually go down really fast and will that be problematic obviously so this is actually for a quest too i think if i remember so that's kind of handy to have to be fair okay there we go so uh yeah look at all the stuff we have here so we needed some wood here obviously we're gonna probably have a quest here to do something with wood so it wants some flint here so let's go and get our flint here um so you can take your flint here and take it so we didn't get much of it, unfortunately. And yeah, so you can take your, there you go. So you get another piece of flint, which is nice. And then it wants you to make a crafting table here. So the crafting table is uh, wood and flint here. So we'll go ahead and take that and uh, grab that. So, oh, we have extra. Oh, actually, never mind. Let's leave that alone then. Okay. Oh, because it wanted to detect it. That's why. Okay, there you go. And uh, there you go. We got our first chest down. How awesome is that? 
And then uh, we can go ahead and claim that. And then uh, you got your main quest, secondary quest. So what is this? Now we've made it all this way, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. They're talking about how the quests look and what are the coins. Okay. So I know the answer to this. So basically your primary quests that you should be following are these kind of these crown things. Uh, anything that's like rounded like these, these are just like secondary meh. But your, your main progression where you should be following and going through is like kind of an alliance. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then this one will open to something else and that's kind of how it forks out so it's just telling you about that also it's telling you about the coin shop which we should be able to actually see now um you can go down here and see the coin coin coins and you can actually spend them now you have to have like certain unlocks and requirements for these but for example vanilla saplings here so i can take these coins here five of these and get all these different saplings now so if you had issues finding certain saplings you know maybe you're only finding you know you know like these biomes of plenty ones and you're not finding the ones you want uh it's a good way of actually uh grabbing those but uh, i think we'll be fine for now i like to save up my coins i'm not really a coin spender so we have a quest here which will basically let us, uh, yeah, you want to make a shovel, pickaxe, axe, hoe, etc., etc., which is great. Uh, the only downside is I don't have uh, all the flint for that quite yet. But I have enough to get one more thing here, and then I can make a tool, I, I guess, out of this. So how do I do that? There you go. And then, yeah, there we go. And then we can go ahead and make a pickaxe. So we'll start with a pickaxe anyways. Damn. There we go. Now who's the rusher here, punks? I'm the rusher. Okay, so we can go ahead and, uh, yeah, you don't want to go too far, obviously. You're going to get, like, some evil creatures if uh, we don't have a lot of lighting. But it does want you to get some stone. I forget if it's a stack of stone. Get that stone. I think it might want you to get a stack of stone, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to just set this down right in here. And then this will just be our little uh, area where we can mine. Now, I need some food finally, so I think it's time to eat some of this food. So let's go ahead and eat a piece of bread here. Let's go ahead and eat. Uh, I need an apple for something. Uh, you know what? I think we have enough apples. Yeah. You only need like one. And we need a proper s sapling anyways for that, I think. Uh, we'll eat you. Um, let's eat some of these guys. These are great. Um, you're going to be limited on some of the foods, by the way, but uh, it's all good. There you go. And then, yeah, I think you need, I think it was 64, so it gives me some opportunities to work on that and gather some anyways. So I think, yeah, I think that's going to be pretty much it here. The, the new day and night is going to come here in a minute, so we'll, we'll check that out a bit. But uh, I think we're almost done this episode just for the fact that uh, I can go ahead and grab some cobblestone and grab some more flint and things like that. Um, maybe we'll make those tools just before the end of the episode, though. That way we have them and we can be like, ta-da! Because that's kind of fun, honestly. Uh, you can hit F7, I think. Yeah, F7. You can see where mobs can possibly spawn. So obviously we have a danger zone over here. So if we were to place this here now, you can see that there's no mob issues now. So that's a good way of just keeping an eye on that. So don't go too far. But now, you know, now we have a protected area where I can mine here, grab what I need, and be fine. So you know, we'll be back here in a minute once I have uh, daytime hits, basically. Okay, my friends. A new day has rung sprung something like that um oh here's a fun thing you can do by the way let's like oh where did i put that cobblestone let's hit t on here whoa i just thought i'd say that i mean that's that's been around for a long time it was in other mods too but i think they had made a better version of it or fixed it up or i don't know um either way it's something i always have to have in packs now and i'm obviously glad they have that um so what did i get al alone at night what did what did i just get that i didn't even know i got What, what, what? I'm so confused. Where, where did I just... Anyways. Um, we got a shovel, so let's try this out. I don't know how safe it is going to be out here, by the way. Oh, crap. Looks pretty safe. Oh, we got this on. Let's get rid of that. I don't really need that crap. Let's put that there. We don't have an issue. Let's just make sure we didn't lose our torch. Oh, we're lucky it didn't happen. I guess it was slightly long enough that didn't 
become a problem because that would have been annoying. Uh, you're going to need clay later on. I don't think I need clay yet. That is a guy who will hit me. He might even be partially stuck in quicksand. So I do need more gravel, unfortunately. Yes, yes. And there's a big chunk of it right here. Now keep in mind that it's 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 harder to survive now that uh, we found a place to stay because not all mobs will disappear. Some of the enchanted ones will stay around, um, but also you have the issue of we don't have torches to light up the area yet, things like that. So you you are playing a bit of a dangerous game, especially since we don't even have a bed. So so this is where I I, I try to fix it up a bit here. So I just wanted to be able to make those tools and be kind of self-sufficient so I can cut down some trees, get some extra gravel, things like that. And that way uh, we're a bit more prepared for the future here. So now what we could do here, if you want to be, you know, actually we just do it with all this gravel to be fair. There you go. We're just going to fix this up. There you go. So our gravel is a, a big source of, uh, it is really a huge source of our uh, tools for the early game. Because you'll use the Greg Tech tools here, which I think have probably double the durability than the Tinker ones. But you want to get the Tinker ones as soon as possible anyways, just for the fact that you can start working on leveling them up and get modifiers. And then you can you know, make them better, obviously. Um, never dig down like you just saw me do. <laughs> I mean... Chances of something really being bad there is probably impossible just for the fact that, you know, gravel was sunk into lava, etc. But um, you never know, and I could have ended up falling down a hole or something if, you know, if it was another type of block, so. It's like the, the rule of, don't do that, that's stupid. But yeah, so from between now and the next episode, I'm mostly going to probably just grab... Uh, regular you know surface resources so more wood more more, more gravel um, probably make even a chest if I can I don't know how locked up that is um, I might visit a village or two since we saw a lot of them anyways um, I don't know if any of those villages have say a free bed in them probably not I really don't know I wouldn't mind grabbing one if it did just because um, but uh, I don't mind making one too eventually. I just, you know, there's going to be that time where you're going to have no bed, right, for a while. And it's like, that's that's a, that's a dangerous game you're playing, right? So um, so we'll put you guys in here. And later on, you can actually uh, get more efficiency out of this with, uh, with some uh, tools and stuff like that, like a saw. So uh, let's go ahead and make, I think it might want a hoe, but we'll order an axe. Probably a hoe, I'm guessing, is one of them. Oh, a sword, probably, for another one, I guess, is probably one. There you go. Oops. There you go. And there you go. We got the tools. Actually, I don't know if the hoe was needed, to be fair, but I was just like, ah, screw it. Oh. 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 Okay, that works. Shovel, pickaxe, axe, and hoe. Okay, it was one of those. So you can choose one of these. I'm going to go for the loot bag. Maybe we'll get lucky and get the sapling one or something. Look at that. Those waffles alone are pretty powerful, so um, that's quite a bit of... Uh, waffling in there and then we do have the sword which we can claim and it looks like there might even be a quest here to get uh the wool itself and then possibly the sheep here for that so um i think what we're gonna do is try it attempting to do that so we might not find enough of the sheep though right away unfortunately but we'll we'll try what we can here so if you jump up and down like that you can get a one hit on those Let's not sprint because we can't afford to sprint, unfortunately. Ah, oh my goodness. It's everywhere. Wow, this has insane amount. Look at them all everywhere here. Usually they're not that bad, but this is a really bad spot. Okay. We actually, oh, we can grab this. This is worth grabbing um, at any level, basically. Basically, you'll use this later on with your Tinker's uh, Smeltery. And I believe there's some other uh, things later on you'll want it for. And it just, this is a good early source of it. And if you can find it, grab it. Oh, there's more down here. Let's grab it, too, then. I think we're done there. Yeah. 
Okay, unfortunately the sheep and sh sheep thing might be a little longer. So I'll, I'll find more sheep and all that. Um, I need to go back anyways. I didn't really mark off my base with uh, the map here. Mm. But uh, I definitely want, I'm going to work on getting those three sheep. And then, uh, actually, I think you need six. Let's see what the quest here is. Oh, six wool. Yes, yeah, so you need a little bit more. Um, I might make my bed anyways. It, I might have to do it again because uh, there might be um, some other things you have to unlock. So if we do bed here. Um, oh, you need to make the soft mallet. Soft mallet's actually really easy. So it's all just wood based and the, the wool. So it's not a big deal. But obviously it might take a little longer to, uh, to get that done if I have to do it a second time. But that's fine. I'd rather have a bed. That way if I die, I come back and I don't have to worry. A nice place about these trees is you got some of these uh, Pam's uh, stuff here growing. So I can get like those dates and things like that. Even if I don't want to like have a bunch of them. Um, they're great for uh, later on to uh, just even make the few foods, foods that you would like uh, to be able... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh, maybe stick to more of the edges here for safety reasons. <laughs> Poor Togi. He posted uh, Why Not, and it was one of those uh, witchery uh, straw men, but they were in the middle of a lake. Damn. Anyways, uh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, I was going to show you here. So you can make waypoints here, so you can go new, and then you can call this home, and uh, we can set that there. Yeah, I guess that would work, right? Yeah, there you go. And then you can find your way home. And then if we want to mark the bunker, so we had found that bunker originally right here. We can just type in here, so we can do bunker uh, northeast, and we'll just say it's at 65, and then we'll just put that there, and then you can see how far away we are. So how far are we? Oh, we're over 2,000, so that's actually pretty good. Not bad. That That is further away than I thought, so I thought it was about 2K away, but this is even better, so um, yeah, you got to be careful because there is yeah, this in the way. Another thing we can probably do is a furnace, I guess. Can we do a furnace yet? Oh, yeah, you can do a furnace. But I don't think you can make charcoal or clay or anything like that. So it's not like you can uh, get away from. But it does make a light source, and I could cook food at least. So there you go. Oh, and there was uh, was there a quest for that already? I wasn't even sure. Oh, yeah, right here. So here's your stone. Here's your furnace. Maybe we'll get lucky on the next gamble here. B block of gold. Hey, I mean, that's cool. It's a little useless, but okay. Oh, here's a, a chess quest here, actually. So we were wondering about that. So we actually have that there. Let's do A on here. Because if you put A, it's a bookmark here, and it just makes it easier so you can go back to it later. Uh, we don't have enough planks of wood. Oh, we turned it all into the crappy stuff, didn't we? So we can make enough to, let's just do that. So we have enough to make a single chest at this point. Yeah, there you go. And then we can go ahead and just put you here if we want. There you go. Widen you. And uh, yeah. Oh, there's our other torch. Was So are we good there? Yeah, I guess we are there. Okay. And there you go. And you can get a cooked mutton or you can get a chest. I'm going to go with the chest. I probably usually would go for the mutton, but I'm thinking, you know what? It's probably just easier to get that again. Uh, or the mutton's easy. I just have to kill, you know. Actually, I already have. Uh, yeah, there you go. I just have to throw that in and cook it. Uh, you can't put wood in here as far as I know. So there's no... Uh... Oh, there you go. So you can go here. And yeah, there's no furnace recipe here. So keep that in mind. You have to have the, uh, the coke oven for that, so... Okay, I think we're pretty good here. Here's the soft mallet I was talking about. So I don't have enough wood for that. Oh, do I? No, I don't. That's all right. We're good. I think that's good for this episode anyways. We'll come back next time and we'll continue our adventures. Uh, like I said, I'll probably farm a bit of stuff. I might even make a bed, but we'll, we'll walk through all that anyways next time. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. If you want to check out our server and all that, check out the uh, pinned comment maybe description. We'll see if I'm not lazy. Uh, StoneLegion.com will have the information anyways. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.